everybody this is Texas Tiger D and it is just viciously hot today I mean just viciously hot and actually it's a little bit cooler than it was yesterday I think it's only in the low 90s now 91 92 uh, we hit uh, along the line of about uh, 95 yesterday and over here you will see the uh, utility truck over here uh, the air conditioning and all the power just not the air conditioning without at my apartment and you see the guys over there I think they're making sure that it doesn't go out again I hope that's what they're doing and so anyway I got a package today and I'm gonna actually show that uh, and it's uh, gonna be a box opening uh, one of my uh, major box openings I haven't done a box opening like this in a while and I got another piece or two that uh, will be uh, working its way into some uh, videos probably in the near future. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, give you a touch of what weather is actually like here. Actually got a breeze here because the sun is not beating down on me directly. Don't know if I'll be able to get out into the day. I could have probably gotten out at lunch, but uh, I was expecting a package. So I pretty much stayed very, very nearby. Fortunately, I was able to work uh, from home today, which is not the normal way I do things but uh, this package did require a signature and I was uh, lucky enough to get a little time off uh, not time off time working elsewhere anyway I will talk to you again in a little bit and we will uh, see the box opening or what's in the box everybody this is Texas Tiger Diggs and I've got a big box opening I'm in the big box the big box opening of my uh, <laughs> Of my apartment here so I'm going to uh, reach down here and pop this thing open it's probably no surprise you know some new things out and you know I gotta get one and I've sold a lot of, of extraneous stuff love that eBay <laughs> and uh, so I did get enough money to get something that uh, I wanted to take a look at you know, there's, a, there's a part of my detecting that has suffered a little bit lately I wanted to get back at it, and I think this might help me now. And it is, of course, the Fisher F22. So, Fisher F22, and I'll get a little bit closer here. Now, we've had a lot of people who've looked at this thing and given a box open. I'm just giving a box opening, show you it's here. I'll, I'll throw it together. Uh, I don't think it's going to be any different than all the other fishers I've had. Uh, so, uh, but uh, you know, I'm not going to give you big quality things and discuss the fact. But it is a, the weatherproof. I do like that. But it's just a, a detector that's kind of missing from my a detector type. It's kind of missing from my uh, my armory lately. Not that I don't love the Deus and the Safari and. And uh, I guess the uh, I guess the uh, the macro racer would be the closest one that falls in this in the category of this one, though the macro racers are considerably more expensive. But you know we'll see if the expenses expense shows a marked difference in quality. And I got the F22. When I read it had multiple, you could do multiple. Uh, you, you know, you could do uh, multiple points of discrimination and basically uh, you can notch out certain things. I kind of like that because I do notch things out from time to time. But only in parks I'm going to hit a bunch. And, you know, every one of my parks I hit a bunch. So, <laughs> so that's pretty much normal. So, you know, I've been looking at it and checking it out here. And it's and the coil is just about the same size as the uh, as the coil on the uh, the F19 and the small coil now I'm using on the macro racer. I don't maybe slightly smaller than that. Huh, that's interesting. I didn't realize the coil would be quite that small, but that that will work. And then the the brace. I'll I'll put it together real fast. I'm just giving you an intro to, to what's going to be coming. So let me. Let me jot this together real quick, so I will, I will stop the video and 
put this together and be uh, right back. Okay, I'm going to make some observations here. You know, I'm not a, I'm not by any means a fan boy on any detector. I am a big Fisher fan, so I'm, I'm, uh, I have not tested this, so I'm not going to make any considerations about how it works yet. I'll get it out in the field maybe tomorrow. Uh, that's like according to how the weather is, but this isn't a, a weatherproof detector, so the weather wouldn't be a bad thing as long as there's no lightning. Uh, anyway, I do. There's some things that bother me about a lot of these new detectors. And that's this these tiny little you can see these these tiny little coil flanges now. They're not thick and beefy, you know. So that, that kind of bothers me. And that's been bothering me for a while. You guys know the issue I had with the uh, with the macro eraser coil flanges. I'll put the uh, I'll put a little card above. You can go take a look at it if you want to. But it it this the, the flanges on my macro eraser broke. Now I'm not saying this is in any way gonna have the same problem, but I just like a beefier flange. But you know, it's uh, you know they they probably f figure out this is, this makes it a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter on shipping, a little bit easier on manufacture. So I don't think that's going to change. They're probably going to stay small. And here, uh, there is no metal cuff on the screw-in portion. Uh, it's plastic, so that's a little bit a little bit worrisome. I'm afraid if I cross thread it or break it, it might not be something I can get back on easily. It did go on. It did not go on easy as a metal one. I had to sort of give it a little force. It, it, not really a force. It, it went on smoothly, but it's plastic. And plastic is not, doesn't just fall into grooves very easily. So that bothered me a little bit. So, you know, those are the minor things. But it, it, it says nothing about the function of the detector or its durability. We'll give that some time and we'll see what that is. In any case, I just wanted to get this open and just uh, take a look and make some comments. Uh, uh, this, and this coil, this coil is small. Uh, you know, I'm not a huge guy on small coils. It is large enough not to be considered small, but it is also small enough not to be considered medium. So uh, that's something. And, uh, you know, I could have got the F, uh, what is it, the F33 or whatever the next in the line wore, or the one below this. But I wanted this one because it's right in the middle. And it's, uh, you know, it, I want to see if it's a competitor. Because some of the things it was showing in the advertisement, and I'll see if there actually has some effect and to talk about it. Some of the things they show in the advertisements gives it a lot of the tuning and notching capability you find in, in machines double this cost or you know half again this cost it looks like it's more competitor with the uh, the old uh, the, the next level up uh, uh, the F4 it's more an F uh, it's more a uh, scale down and less expensive F4 so which makes me wonder how long the F4 has it may have already been discontinued I haven't been following the news on that in any case uh, I just wanted to show that and give my little first thoughts and views and like I said, I'll be getting it out in the field, and this is going to fulfill a niche because I don't have many very simple, easy machines that I could just throw in and go. I don't always want to bring my A game. I don't always want to have the Deus or even the uh, the Safari or the Deus. Sometimes I just want something that's a, you know I can go down six, seven inches maybe, you know, and skim off ninety percent of what you can find anyway, and probably ninety-five percent of what's in my young parks. And, uh, you know, so I, I have no issue with that. In any case, uh, we'll see what it's like, and I will see you out in the field with it as soon as I possibly can get out. Everybody have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.